What's up guys? It's your girl Aries Ashley here and today we're going to be talking about a lot of great things. I miss you guys so much. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to be doing this video. It's been a really, really long time. Anyway, let's take this moment to utilize our mindfulness and hit that subscribe button that's right if you haven't already please hit that subscribe button so that you can know actually the notification bell lets you know when i upload if you subscribe then you you know you're just here you're here for it and to those of you who are already subscribed thank you so much for your patience thank you for your subscription thank you for being yourself i really appreciate it Y'all, I, I missed everything. I got sick and I missed everything. I still was able to shop. I did recover, but um, thank God that I was able to recover. But I wasn't able to like upload. I wasn't able to make videos and post on Instagram like I wanted to. It really took a lot out of me. My energy just got straight up depleted and I I did not see the light at the end of the tunnel I'm not gonna lie to you guys I was ready to just stop doing YouTube and I was like it's you know it's just too hard I know I have a baby I have a three-month-old and my daughter's in school and I work and it was just like man this is too hard it's too much and when I got sick it really just kind of shine a light on how much energy it really does take to make these videos. I have a newfound respect for YouTubers, especially those of you who are on here every single day. I guess after a while it becomes a part of your lifestyle, but for someone who is new, this is a lot of work because it's not like I'm going live right now. I have to edit this before before you guys see it. There's a lot more that goes into just recording a video. So shout out to everybody. Um, Bonnie, Tina Marie, Kimball, uh, everybody who's just on here extremely frequently every day, more than once a day. You go, girl. Y'all do it because, <laughs> because I got a lot to do, okay? Anyway, moving right along, you guys, I know I didn't get to talk about Candle Day, but if you go on Instagram, follow me at Aries Ashley on Instagram, then you guys can see my haul, okay? I did do an online haul. I went in store. Of course, my quarantine was over before I went in store, so um, yeah, because I was not going outside, okay? You better believe it. I was on lockdown. Um, Anyway, fortunately, I was able to go to Candle Day. I did do in-store. I did do online. I did do some swaps. Um, I had one more swap to do, but eh, I'll keep it. <laughs> if I want another one, I'll just buy it. But uh, so yeah, Candle Day was great. Everybody's re reviewing all of the candles for Candle Day. And it's it's so awesome. Um miss so delish i don't know if you guys follow her but i'll i'll put a link to everyone's name who i've just mentioned um she did a review of cookies and cream milkshake the candle day candle y'all she hauled a lot she hauled a lot of them and i think it's beautiful she's such an inspiration to me i like what i like about her is she knows what she likes, and when she likes it, she buys a ton of what she likes. And I like that because you don't necessarily need everything that they come out with, you guys. Just because Bath & Body Works releases something new doesn't mean you have to have it, especially if you don't like it. So, um, yeah, I, I posted that on Instagram a while back about just because you know, they came out with it doesn't mean you have to buy it. Those collections, you don't have to complete every collection just because it's there, especially if you don't like it. Leave it for someone else who does like it. Let them buy it so that they can enjoy it. If you're just getting it to complete a collection and you really don't like it and you don't have the space for it, y'all, 
With all this stuff going on, especially because we're going to talk about Body Care Day, y'all, there is a fine line between hoarding and collecting. And looking at my Body Care Day wish list, excuse my handwriting, y'all, I'm on that line right now. <laughs> okay? I'm on that line and I'm going to have to go through this list because this isn't even aromatherapy. This doesn't even include aromatherapy. This is just my moisturizing body washes. These are my um, my body butters, my shower gels, my body lotion, the fine fragrance mist, and the sugar scrubs. Y'all, there is no way. I don't have anywhere to put that much body care. I'm going to have to go through this list with a fine tooth comb because it doesn't even include like I said, aromatherapy or online. I, I didn't even go through those yet. So my point is, if you don't love it, leave it. It is what it is. You don't need every single fragrance just because they released it. Uh, especially if you know that you're not going to use it. Leave it there for someone else to pick it up and enjoy. So let me stop rambling. And real quick, lipstick. Y'all, I I am in love with this menthol lip tint. What color is this? This is plum mint. Mm. Mm hmm And it's really good. This is from Bath and Body Works. Everybody's probably going there tomorrow. <laughs> Most of you guys are gonna be there tomorrow. So uh if you dare, you know, spend the $7.50 because I don't believe it's going to be on sale, pick this up. If you're going to be picking the uh, lip care up, then grab that because you're really going to like it. It's so tingly. It's moisturizing, smell good, taste good. It's all of that good stuff. So you guys, uh, I guess let's just talk about body care day. Let's jump right into it because uh, it's tomorrow and... I, I got something else to talk about. So I keep looking. If I keep looking away, it's because I'm excited about the other thing that I'm going to talk about. But anyway, let's just do this body care day wish list first. Okay. Word on street is everything is going to be $5.95. All body care, not perfumes. Um, yeah, no perfumes, not the, not the mini perfume, not the regular perfume but the body care. So that includes the moisturizing body wash, the shower gel, body butter, uh, body cream, body lotion, fine fragrance mist, scrubs, aromatherapy, but not the perfume. I presume the body oil from aromatherapy is included. I'm gonna find out because I'm going to get some of that. I, I need that. So, Y'all, I don't know if y'all really want to know what's on this list. I almost feel like I shouldn't read it to you because I am like 100% sure that A, I'm not getting everything on this list and B, this list is going to change once I get in store. So what I did today <laughs> was I went inside the store for a little pre-gaming. Now... I have a video of a walkthrough, which I will insert in just a few minutes. But what the manager told me was that it was going to look completely different by the time I got there tomorrow morning. My store opens at 5 a.m. I'm going to be there at 4.30 a.m., which is the time that she is going to get there. So I presume that her and I both We'll see what the line looks like when we get there because I am not going to that store any earlier than 4.30 in the morning. The reason why is because it's going to be cold and I'm not, I'm sorry, I love y'all, I love Bath and Body Works, but I'm not waiting any more than 30 minutes inside of a line in the freezing cold. To all of those people who are going to be out there at 3.45, 3.30 in the morning, just sitting and waiting. Uh, yeah, that looks good on you. You should do that. 
your girl is not going to do it. So I'll tell you this. Let's, let's do this like this. I'm going to give you how many items I have under each category instead of telling you exactly what's on the list because that could change when I get there. If she's telling me everything is going to look completely different for all I know, she's going to put out all new stuff. Have y'all seen those images floating around on uh, Life Inside the Page Daily Finds Instagram and on Sense Galore Instagram? I'll, I'll post it in here just so you can see it if you haven't, but Y'all, what if that stuff is there? We don't know. We don't know what's going to happen. Also, right, we give y'all a scoop. I heard there's supposed to be 1550 candles tomorrow. I do not like that price point on the sale. Like, ah, I like the BOGO. I think the buy one, get one is, is the best candle sale, obviously, outside of candle day. Because you get, if you have a coupon anyway, you can get them cheaper on BOGO or like, for example, that Black Friday, the buy three, get three. If you had a coupon, your candles were cheaper than candle day candles. So I don't like that 1550. And now that they have spoiled me with the BOGO, I don't like the 10 off either. But I mean, I'll take what I could get. There's some that I really want. So I'm totally just going to get the ones I want if they're there, which is going to affect my body care day wish list. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go ahead and insert my walkthrough. Okay, so we're in here and I am totally just trying to scope everything out. I see the gingham and the peony and I want both of those. Those, those are on my list. Um, scrub, 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 y'all, that sunset glow. Um, I want the scrub and uh, Serenity wants the watermelon lemonade. So I'm gonna pick that up for her. I want that sweater weather shower gel that's on my list too. Um, I'm not too crazy about cactus blossom. Serenity likes the pretty peach one, pretty as a peach. Uh, my mom asked for some of the stuff from this line, this body butter here, but I got to tell her that it's lotion. LOL. Y'all, I love the moisturizing body washes. I might pick up a few of those. I'm not sure yet. Those were their single wigs that they had or some of the single wigs that they had left. Y'all know the wallflower sale was going on. I, I wasn't after that, but <laughs> I just wanted to show you guys what I could. I found the um all the fields pocket bag. I, I did pick up a couple of them. Um, they smell really good. You guys, I have that strawberry body butter, but I don't have the shower gel. So I'm going to get the shower gel. I may pick up a couple of things from that line. I, I really want to back up that uh, marshmallow. No, not marshmallow pumpkin latte. Y'all know I got a million of those. Um, The vanilla mocha cafe. I want to back that one up. I want a couple of things from Dahlia and some rose. I hope that that's still there in the morning um y'all have to excuse me like kind of here ish because i was talking to a sales associate she was um she was trying to help me out with a with a few things but uh the perfect peony i do want some of that stuff and they were in the process of stocking some of the candles up there so yeah, you know, the the pickings was very, very slim. I was, I'm still on the hunt for that vanilla and peach tea candle and I can't find it. I can't find it anywhere. <laughs> anyway, um, back to what they did have. The gift sets were there. They're cute um, for those who want them, I, I guess. Um, the candles here, this was the other side, like the other candles they had. And I was really looking for that island papaya. They didn't have that either. I couldn't find the island papaya. And um, 
yeah, you see, you see her there, the sales associate, we were, we were running our mouths, lol, they got all the men's care up here on this table, and, you know, the way they had the store set up today was pretty decent, so I'm really enthralled to know what in the world it's going to look like in the morning. I should probably really go to sleep, you guys, but no, no, no. We're going to thug this out because I'm I'm thinking about going live in the morning when I get there on Instagram anyway. So I'm going to finish this video and I'm going to upload it tonight. And you guys, <laughs> you guys are going to know what I know when I know it. So how about that? Uh, aromatherapy. Uh, I got to get a lot of aromatherapy because, yeah, look at that. Because bubble bath soak, scrubs, oh my goodness, creams, y'all, come on, man, this stuff is like $16.50, and it's going to be $5.95, I need to get my hands on this stuff, because it's aromatherapy, and who doesn't love aromatherapy, if you guys are sleeping on the aromatherapy, I highly suggest you check it out, because it's really good, especially the eucalyptus spearmint, um, I know it's like the, the basic or the staple. Y'all look at how much frosted cranberries left. Apparently I wasn't the only one who wasn't really feeling it. Um, Serenity has coconut mint drop on her list. So I'm going to pick that up. I was looking for snowy peach berry shower gel and I cannot find it. Uh, what else? Yeah, this Roaring Twenties collection. Eh, it's totally meh to me. Not really feeling it. Uh, the only one that I might be grabbing some of is Sweet Whiskey because I missed it the last go round. I was too slow. So I might grab some of that. The, you know, the faceted collection, if you don't already have it, now is a great time to get it. Uh, what else is over here? Some more Rose and the Into the Night. I did, I think I need a... I think I need a, a mist in the end of the night, the fine fragrance mist. So, yeah, here we go with the traditions. Nothing too special, but it's the traditions. <laughs> Y'all know I don't do glitter. That stuff is great. It's fun, but, you know, glitter. Ew. Back to aromatherapy and what I was saying. If you haven't tried aromatherapy already, I highly suggest you check it out. And now is a great time to do it. Um, I suggest you know what you like in terms of lavender. If you're a lavender fan or not. If you're a bergamot fan or not. If you're a eucalyptus fan or not. But figure that out. And you need to try you. I'm, I'm after that. That right there. I'm after that. You need to figure it out and try some of this aromatherapy because it's amazing. Back to the show. I'm back. Okay, so let's just get into it, you guys. My moisturizing body wash, I have three. Three items on there as of right now. Because again, I don't know what the heck is going to happen whenever I get inside the store, okay? And oh, by the way, this is just my list. My sister gave me a list. My mom gave me a list. And my daughter gave me a list and my coworker gave me a list. So I'm going to be in that store shopping like a mad woman. Like, I don't even know how I'm going to get all those bags to the car. I'm probably going to just have to do all of the transactions and then um, just come back. Like, tell them to just put my bags at the front door and then like, I'll make a trip and then go back and <laughs> get the rest of the bags. Oh my gosh. Okay, back to my list. Moisturizing body wash, I have three items. Shower gels, I have 14. Um, body butters, I have two. Pause. I really would like to have more body butters because I like the, the thick, the t -t 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 thick formula. But the thing about that is I don't like the glow shit. Y'all, your girl can't do glitter. I'm not, I'm not for the glitter. I can't do glitter. No, no. So I have two items under body butter for that reason. 
um, my body creams, I have four. My body lotions, I have five. My scrubs, I have six. And my fine fragrance mist, I have 10. Again, you guys, that does not include aromatherapy or the surprise items that are gonna be there when I get there, okay? So let me know in the comments, what are you looking to get? Um, are there any like super favorites? Also, what I really would like to know from you guys, um, aside from what you're planning to get from this sale, is how do you feel about semi-annual sale um, coming around the corner? Because my cousin, like, hey, babe, she was saying that she's waiting. She's going to wait and clean up on semi-annual sale, which I don't blame her. But the thing about that is aromatherapy. Aromatherapy isn't going to be on sale for SAS. And, well, at least I don't think it is. And they have... Those 1650 items are going to be $5.95 tomorrow and your girl is trying to clean up. You hear me? I'm trying to clean up. So um, those scrubs, I have six on that list, but I have a feeling how I have like the 14 shower gels and the six scrubs. Something is telling me that that is going to, that's going to be a little flipsy flipsy there. I might end up with more of the scrubs because... I'm really honestly looking to get more bang for my buck than the actual items. Yeah, I want the items. And some of this stuff is online exclusives. So these numbers do include my online order. Y'all know I normally, I normally do both. I normally do online and in store, especially if, you know, in store doesn't have what I'm needing. The good news is that in store opens at five online starts at six so that gives me an hour to assuming the line isn't an hour long that gives me an hour to get in and out of the store and place my online order first thing in the morning that's my plan that's kind of what I did on candle day we were headed to the store uh the store opened at five we got there like 450 ish Give me one second, guys. Okay, I'm back. So yeah, we got there at like 4.50-ish. The line, uh, the pics on Instagram, y'all can go check out the line. Uh, matter of fact, I might post like my candle day haul, my sister's candle day haul, my online haul, and the line <laughs> at the end of this video. So you guys, um, for those of you who don't currently follow me on Instagram, y'all can just see what I'm talking about, okay? But Anyway, the store opened at five. The line was like, yeah. And what I did was on the way to the store, I placed my order. And I was really, really glad I did because uh, it went through at like 540. Wait, you guys. Wait, wait, wait. That's not true. So that must have mean that that must have mean stop. That must have meant that the store opened at 6 a.m. Yeah, there you go. There you go, girl. Okay, so I placed my order in the car on the way to the store at about 5.40 a.m. And it went through because I was like stalking my phone. And then like I saw like it says, uh, use code candle. I think that was the code or something like that. And I was like, ah, will we accept it? Cause my cart was ready to go. As soon as I'm done, um, uploading this video, your girl is going to get her cart ready to go for in the morning. Highly suggest you do that. If you're placing an online order, get your cart ready tonight and stock the website early in the morning. Okay. So that's what I'm going to do whenever I finish. I hope I wasn't trying to make a point prior to what I was saying just now because I forgot it. Sorry guys. All right. Anyway, I have something super exciting for y'all right now. Are you ready? We're going to compare hot cocoa and cream, chocolate grams, and cookies and cream milkshake. 
Isn't this gonna be so much fun? Oh my gosh, y'all. That's what I kept looking over to the corner for because this is gonna be fun. These are the chocolate candles that Bath & Body Works um, has come out with for the latter end of 2020. Of course, uh, hot cocoa and cream is a staple, so they didn't just come out with it. But it was in the holiday traditions packaging. I'm actually gonna start with it because uh, it came out first. Yeah, I'm gonna do it in the order that these came out. So this is the holiday traditions hot cocoa and cream front label packaging. It does not wrap around, it has beautiful brown wax. The scent notes are decadent milk chocolate, fresh steamed milk, mini marshmallows with essential oils. It's super chocolatey. They're all super chocolatey, but I'm gonna try to uh, pick them apart. And how I want to do this is going to be by like we'll give a we'll give each candle the winning category so you guys know excuse me how i typically review my candles um we're gonna <laughs> oh man that first part is gonna be hard because it's packaging and i really like all three packaging on this so we're gonna do it like that okay we're gonna do it by the packaging wax color uh clean even burn, pool, throw, all that jazz. We're gonna get into all of that, all right, on each candle. Now, this hot cocoa and cream smells chocolatey, but you can smell the, but I'm sorry, I had it in front of my face, I'm sorry guys, but you can smell the milk. And that's why I fell in love with this in the Halloween packaging because it was my, the Halloween packaging this year, believe it or not, was my first time burning hot cocoa and cream. And I absolutely loved it. I went and got it back up and everything. Like I needed it in my life. Y'all look at my sweater. <laughs> Fleece Navi <Navidad. laughs> I'm such a nerd. Anyway, this candle is super chocolatey uh it smells just like hot cocoa and cream it really does you can well the cream my nose picks it up as milk not cream uh yep yep it picks it up as milk not cream you can well that's the scent notes fresh steamed milk <laughs> there is no cream okay so my nose is right Y'all know I love everything that has to do with marshmallows, so that's a plus. Um, okay, let's let's look at this packaging, and then I'm gonna put the chocolate grams packaging next to. I wonder if there's a way I can kind of stack these. <laughs> this is about to get real, y'all. Okay, hold on. Ah! Okay, so looking at all three. In terms of packaging, uh, how do I want to do this, y'all? Let me see. Because I didn't consider when you burn it. Like, this one I think is my favorite because of the geometric shapes and everything. And it's really pretty in that iridescent like mm, bling bling it's beautiful but the luminary <laughs> the luminary oh it's such a pretty burn oh my gosh so is that like a separate category you guys is a uh, pretty burn a separate category from packaging Y'all have to let me know. So I'm gonna do it as separate since we're here now. Now, let me backtrack again. I'm sorry, it's a, a person who's super organized is like, oh my God, I can't watch her because she's like, she really needs to get her life together. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, okay? It's been a while, it's been a while. So yes, that's Hot Cocoa and Cream's scent description and packaging. And I'm gonna be going back and forth, so you know what I mean? Sorry, it is what it is. Chocolate Grams scent notes 
are milk chocolate, graham cracker, caramel swirl, vanilla extract with essential oils. Okay, you guys, the packaging on this one is luminary with white wax. The white wax doesn't bother me when it's burning, but just like, it could have been like a graham cracker color. I don't know. That that just kind of makes me feel like try harder, <laughs> just just a little bit harder, but it's okay, um because this is beautiful the the cutouts and when it's burning it's just glorious my goodness yeah that's a wrap around keep twirling it like um anyway the cookies and cream milkshake notes are chocolate cookie crumbles vanilla bean ice cream and chocolate drizzle with essential oils. Ooh, y'all, that smells so good. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. I don't know what that is that smells so good in there. I think, I don't know. Can't tell you, can't pick whatever that is. That might be the, either that's the vanilla bean ice cream or that is the cohesive oneness that I'm smelling. That is so good. Okay, and then the packaging on this one is just a front label. All right, y'all. So, excuse me. Let's start. Now we can get into it. Let's start with packaging. Packaging, to me, goes to cookies and cream milkshake, okay? Um, because that's just so cool. It reminds me of a store that we used to have called limited to like this just looks like something that would be in there and i love it i absolutely love it it's so pretty all right now burn how like the appearance of the candle is burning goes to chocolate grams that's how i'm gonna do that hands down that thing is gorgeous okay um clean even burn these actually weren't so bad y'all i'm just looking at it to make sure there's no soot in the wax okay cookies and cream milkshake has a little bit a little bit of soot got in there um so that one's out <laughs> um chocolate grams and hot cocoa and cream not so much these were pretty clean but uh, hot cocoa and cream wasn't very even. Can y'all see that on the edges? It wasn't very even or as even. So that, the winner has to be chocolate grams for that one as well. Okay, so um, wax color easily goes to hot cocoa and cream because the other two are white wax. And I feel like, they could have been different colors. Um, I don't mind the white wax for the burn factor because, uh, I mean, it burns well, it holds fragrance well, so whatever. But I would have liked to have seen the cookies and cream milkshake in, um, I have a thing about black wax, and I just think maybe that would have been super cool, especially up against that label that um, the black wax, cause they have the milkshake written in black. Y'all, that thing would have popped, like pop, pop, pop. But it's okay, I ain't mad. Maybe I'm the only one who thinks that because it's a little strange that they would make that into a black candle, which is probably why it has the white wax. And you know, a cookies and cream milkshake, depending on where you get it from, and if you're not a super Oreo lover, it would be, more white than black so that's cool i ain't mad but for those reasons wax color goes to hot cocoa and cream okay uh fragrance appeal on cold on cold fragrance appeal has to go to cookies and cream milkshake y'all this thing smells so good yeah i like that I like the cohesiveness of how this smells just as a candle all together. I really enjoy it. All right, lit. 
Lit has to go to chocolate grams. Now, here's the thing. No, I take that back. I'm gonna renege. Lit goes to hot cocoa and cream. I love this candle. It smells so good. Um, and it smells like hot chocolate, like like literally like your uh like you're making hot chocolate. Like you're making it and you know how like you're in front of it and you're getting all the whiff. Not like you're drinking it, but like you're making it. And so you can smell all the chocolate and milk happening. You can smell them as um, separate entities. And then when you finish, it's like mm, the pleasure of just the hot chocolate. That's what I like about this because it smells like you can pick it apart and put it together. And I really enjoy that about the hot cocoa and cream. I am not keeping tally about who won what, so yeah. Uh, anyway, moving right along. What's next, you guys? Let me tell you why this one uh, lit isn't like my absolute favorite. It almost, it almost is. Um, but I picked the hot cocoa and cream because the caramel swirl note in here in my opinion, doesn't belong. They could have left that out. Yeah, like Bath and Body Works did a bajillion caramel fragrances. Like, do they have like an unsurmountable, obnoxious supply of caramel? And they're like, let's put it in there. <laughs> let's just stick it in that candle too. Y'all, that caramel drizzle. Okay, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do that. But, um, it was too heavy. Okay, I did it. It was too much. But anyway, um, yeah, I love this. I wish they didn't put the caramel in there. Yeah, what's next? Throw. Mm-hmm. Yep, yeah, that's right. But she got a strong arm. God dog it. This candle can throw, y'all. Like, like football. Oh my God, I might edit. No, 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 I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it because it was stupid. <laughs> yeah, but she got, a, <laughs> she got a strong arm. She can really throw. She can really dance, yes. So, um, cookies and cream milkshake for me, the throw was about a six, seven. I like this, okay, I really like this candle because you can smell the milkshake. I know that's strange to say, but you can, you can, it smells like, it doesn't smell just like cookies and cream. It doesn't smell like chocolate. It doesn't smell like hot chocolate. It smells like a cookies and cream milkshake. And I appreciate that. I appreciate that because I feel like um, they took the, while well, they didn't take the effort to color the wax, they did make the effort to make this smell really freaking awesome. And it does. It smells very freaking awesome. And I appreciate that. So, uh, but she don't have a she don't have a strong arm. I mean, she could throw, but she's not gonna do to do like um like chocolate grams. And hot cocoa and cream, the throw is decent. It's about it's about a set, okay. I'll say seven, seven and a half, eight and a half. seven mm -hmm. like seven <laughs> so I like my certain fragrances I really like them to throw like big big throw high number and chocolate is one of those fragrances if I'm gonna make my house smell like chocolate I really, really want it to smell like chocolate. I don't want it to be like, oh, something smells like chocolate. It's like this faint whiff of chocolate. No, no, no. I want to feel like I, <laughs> like I'm Augustus Gloop, okay? I'm trying to jump in the river of chocolate and have it all happen. Anyway, you guys, repurchase. Would I repurchase these? I have, okay, I'm back. <laughs> Would I repurchase these? 
Hot cocoa and cream. This is my third one, so yes. Would I give this to a friend? My chocolate lover friends? Yes. All right. Chocolate grams. Would I repurchase? I don't think so, y'all. I mean, I like it. It can throw. I like the graham cracker in it. I really do, but that caramel, it just, it really, to me now, it just really doesn't belong. Candles call chocolate grams, like that caramel drizzle is too much of it in there. And it just makes it over, like overly sweet, like unnecessarily sweet. Um, yeah, they really threw me off with that. So no, this is not a repurchase and I personally wouldn't gift it unless I knew that the person really loved like Milky Way or something and graham crackers. <laughs> this thing smells like a twisted s'more. I mean, outside of the mark, just like the graham crackers and chocolate with caramel, <sighs> whatever. It's good. I'm going to burn it. I'm going to use it, but I'm not going to buy another one, you know, and this collection, the one that I will buy another that white all the coconut. Oh my gosh. Okay, anyway. Uh cookies and cream milkshake. Repurchase? Yes. I would buy another one of these. As a matter of fact, I think I'm going to. I think I'm gonna get a couple more of these. And would I gift it? Yes. I definitely would gift this one. Cause it's the the milkshake factor is so cool to me. Like I would gift this based on the fact like, can you smell the milkshake? <laughs> I just want to know if other people can smell the milkshake in here. I do enjoy this one. Um, I think I'm going to put she in time out. Yep. <laughs> She's going to go in time out uh, for a few days. And I'll see if she can throw a little bit stronger after that. Um, my candle day candles, you guys. Berry spritzer. I like that fragrance. Everybody's talking about how much they dislike that fragrance. I enjoy it, but um, I had to put her in timeout for a few days. So I just kind of like lit her up in my room not too long ago just to see if she learned her lesson and she did. So now she's properly throwing and yeah, I, I, can, I can dig it. So yeah, I'm going to Put her in timeout for a couple of days just to see if she improves on the throw. All right, you guys, that's all I have for you today. Um, giveaways, just so you guys don't think I'm flaming on giveaways. I haven't forgotten. I'm going to re-strategize them and um, then I'll resume the giveaways, all right? Because I told y'all that it was going to change and it is going, it is going to be changing, so... Um, instead of me just picking a random photo, I'm going to find a way to do it to where you guys know which photo to like so that everybody can kind of get a fair shake. And um, I'm probably going to do a larger giveaway, but once a month. That way I can um, do these hauls the way I really want to do them. Oh, oh, you guys, I have an insane, insane Goose Creek haul coming. <laughs> I hope hubby doesn't watch this one. I, I mean, he probably is going to. Hopefully he'll like click off in the middle of the video or something. But that Goose Creek haul is coming. It's insane. It's crazy. Y'all, okay. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget... Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And to all of my subscribers, thank you so much. I truly appreciate you guys. And if you don't already, follow me on Instagram at Aries Ashley. And I will see you guys in the next one. Toodles! I'm so excited to be back. Toodles! Okay, guys. So this was the line from Candle Day. This was day one of my Candle Day haul. This was day two of my candle day haul and my one Yankee candle. This was my online haul and a couple of swaps and a gift. This was my sister's candle day haul day one. And it's totally happening. I hope you
y'all are ready. Code Joyful for online. Y'all, I need the Coco Shea line, especially that butter. I want to test out this True Blue Spa. This would be my first time giving it a try. And my goodness, is it abundant. I really hope this is in stores. Um, look at all this stuff, you guys. Since Galore and Life Inside the Page Daily Finds have been really on top of the game. I need that lemon drop. I got to try that, you guys. Um, look at it. It's just beautiful. I also really want to try that honeysuckle because I don't like the other honeysuckle that's online. Oh my gosh, cotton candy clouds. Really? Raspberry jam donut? All right, guys. I'll talk to you later. Toodles.